Looks like he's gone for good this time. I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. I am the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. And it's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. You know, on second thought, maybe it would be safer if we did stick together. At least until we reach Riverwood. Listen. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night. That kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. These are the Gaurian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones dot Skyrim's landscape.
things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. Keep your voice down. I'm fine. But we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? She's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything. But we need to go inside. Okay, okay. Come inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat. And you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel! Dragons now, is it? Please, Mom. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more people. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' skull. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. How do I get to Whiterun from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf, he rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death. If you believe the stories, that's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days.
What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerder's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. What have you got for sale? Take a look. All did right. Did you really then. see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Well, I don't better pester get your cousin. Work. You two make yourselves at home. What the rebels like to forget is that the Empire is what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Be careful on the way to Solitude. Damn Stormcloaks could be anywhere. I can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. I thought dragons were all dead long ago. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. Who were those other prisoners? Well, you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. I don't pay much attention to current events. Oh, right. You were caught trying to cross the border into Skyrim, weren't You're you? You're not kidding. Ulfric's the leader of the Stormcloaks. You know, the traitors trying to break Skyrim away from the Empire. Who are the Stormcloaks? You haven't heard of the Civil War in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the Warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support. So a few months ago, he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention.
Why is the worship of Talos banned? I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire. But here, it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. Then where would Skyrim be? That's the part that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor will destroy us all. How did you capture Ulfric? A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. Be careful on the way to Solitude. Damn Stormcloaks could be anywhere. Well met, friend. New to Riverwood? How can I help you? Riverwood seems very nice. We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. Only worry we've got is the war reaching this far. Anything interesting going on around town? Lucan over in the Riverwood Trader says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. I've got my eye on you.
good to see you again. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship, we didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. What materials do you craft with? Iron and steel, mostly. I might even have some of your fancy elven pieces lying around somewhere. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Right. See you around.
You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield sister. What is a shield sister? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Gravaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Riverwood's in danger too? We better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. You just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride and ask Yorland the Grey Maiden for help? Huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Grey Maiden would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect the miracle. Can I help you? What can you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise, 
I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I'll do it. Thanks. Tell me about your family. Well, my husband, Ulfberg, will be inside. If I wasn't married to him, I'd be out of business. And then there's my father. He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. I help my father in more ways than people realize. What do you mean? You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and leave it at that. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Come to hear the word of Talos. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life, when he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Why was Talos worship outlawed? Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never Forsake mighty Talos. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips, his voice in my throat. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, red legions, for I love you! I love, love
nothing? My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I just think we need more information before we act. I just... Who's this then? What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. As House Karl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. I was told to give the message directly to the Jarl. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. It's I'm all right, starting Hira. to think... I want to hear what she has to say. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? Alvo? The smith, isn't he? Reliable, solid fellow. Not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? So what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. 
It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know this stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Tell me more about the Dragon War. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. So, were all the dragons killed in the Dragon War? Oh no. Many were killed, of course. But many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. Are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. I'll deliver the frost salts for you. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Where can I learn more about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold.
You must know a great deal about magic. It is simply energy to be harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. What are the duties of a court wizard? I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. I serve Jarl Balgruf as steward. I have a sword for you from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruf when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach.
potions and alchemy reagents. Welcome to my alchemy shop, Arcadia's Cauldron. Hold on. Oh dear, your skin's as pale as the snow. How do you feel? Why, do I look ill? I think you might be sick. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Don't worry. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. And I'll be happy to serve you. What have you got for sale? Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. I have some frost salts for you from Ferengar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Ferengar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Can I use the alchemy lab? As long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Be careful out there. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What a poor old. Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about tired of getting sleep. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my four hours? Cuts, Do you believe wild. this old hat? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Carl. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm close traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. How can you be sure your son is alive? I just... I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds.
the street. Had enough of fish and fowl? Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Come on in. We got warm food, warm This drink, is an ode warm to bed. Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone. For the age something? of aggression is just about done. I'd like to rent a room. out the storm cloaks and restore sure what thing. we own. It's yours for a day. Blood and our steel, we will take back I'll show our you to your home. Right this way. Down. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Where'd you learn to play? Well, there's a whole college up in Solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some beef. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
loss against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. And we don't know where the dragon is. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits! Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother.
You're not from Skyrim? I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Why did you leave? It got bad back in Cyrodiil. The war with the Thalmor ruined... everything. Now I just want to put the whole nasty business behind me. All right, then. Yeah, well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Do you sell spells? I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a, a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Steve, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Oh yeah? What would you rather do? I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. He's such a child.
to get it.
someone coming. Is that you, Hawknir? Bjorn? Soling? I know I'm... Get me! Help! Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Ah! Kill it! Kill it! Get it away from me! Get it away! Keep it away from me! did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the Golden Claw? Yes, the Claw. I know how it works. The Claw, the markings, the door in the Hall of Stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Fine. Let me see if I can cut you down. Sweet breath of Arke, thank you.
upstairs.
You have the claw. Oh, you have to tell Lucan at once. Hurry! All right, then. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I have the golden claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. A little coin always greases the wheels. I'll take it. Thank you. Here, this is for you. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Of course. Never mind. All right, then. Yes. Safe travels. Someone there? Huh? Oh, I knew it. Excuse me, madam. I Welcome. don't Let normally do this, but... Um, have you got a moment to talk? Of course. Marvelous. My name is Lucian Flavius. I'm a scientist, philosopher, amateur wizard, and something of a musician, though I suppose that's more of a hobby. I couldn't help noticing that you seem... How can I put this? Well acquainted with the less savory side of Skyrim? I've seen a thing or two. Do you need help with something? 
As a matter of fact, I do. I'm here in Skyrim on an expedition, academic mainly. I find the province simply fascinating. The flora, the fauna, the ruins, both Dwemer and Nordic, the architecture, the politics. Trouble is, I'm really not much of a fighter. I know a few spells and can just about swing a sword, but beyond that, I'm pretty useless in combat. Skyrim's no place for a milk drinker like me. Not on my own, anyway. So, I'm looking for someone to travel with. Go on. I suppose what I'm asking is, would you awfully mind if I tag along? I will of course compensate you most handsomely for putting up with me. How much are we talking? Oh, shall we say 300 septims up front? After that, I'll top you up every time we come across something useful to my research. At your discretion, of course. No obligations. Save that you take me with you, and assist in keeping me alive wherever possible. Sounds like a deal. Oh, splendid. Here's your gold. This is going to be quite the adventure. I'm Lilith, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you. Lead on. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. If you need a drink, just holler. Need something? What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. See you around. Can I get you something? What have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Do you have somewhere I could take a bath? Of course. I appreciate it. Is this enough? I understand.
We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Yes. Of course. Let me know if you want anything. Or you can just wait here. You want a drink? Can you serve me a full meal? Of course. All right, then. Need something? Mm-hmm. Where do you want to go? White Run. Very well. My carriage is the safest way to travel. I do like White Run a lot. It would be a shame if it were completely obliterated by dragons. Come on in. Just stop. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. 
Anyway, what do you need? I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Our youth today's come and gone for the age of aggression is just about done we'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own with our blood and our steel we will take back our home General Goods, welcome indeed. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do come back. Come on. 
You see? The terminology is clearly first era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege. Back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Since you are a cut above the usual brutes, the Jarl sends my way. I got you the Dragonstone. What next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy Farangar. when you deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Not now. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. <coughs> You've earned it. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Help your left kill this dragon like before it can attack one. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution.
bracket named Dragna was boastful no more. When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A dragon? You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Card, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, You're no, so House dead. Card. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me. Now, what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move up.
it back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Hello, save us.
can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon Whoa. blood. We killed like old dragon. Tiber Septim, he said. Go team! I've never heard of Tiber Septim team. killing Us. any dragons. Yep. There were any dragons Go. then, idiot. Us. just coming back now for the first time in forever but the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal the power you must be one what do you say you left being awfully quiet come on here Lef. tell us do you believe in this dragonborn business <laughs> some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping gums on matters you don't know anything about here's a dead dragon and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know you can kill. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't an orc. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Oh, you shouting, what you just did. The Must be. You really are dragonborn, then. That was the oh. hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this dragonborn business. I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Jarl Balder will want to know what happened here. You've been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing that trouble. All we ask. The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds.
finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Yarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Good to see you. What's it mean to be Dragonborn? I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the way of the voice, and taught Tiber Septim himself. What do you know about shouts? Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. What have you got for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this.
Take care of yourself now. So you're the one who killed the dragon? I'm Lydia. Jarl Balgruff appointed me as your house, Carl. It's an honor. You're a hero, etc., etc. I'm a Thane? What does that mean? You don't sound very enthusiastic about this. I have my doubts about whether or not you actually had a significant role in slaying that dragon. It may as well have just been the guards in Irolith. Look at the other people in the Jarl's court. There's his brother, Prongar, who's a good fighter and well-meant, but too much of a horker brain to do anything significant. Then there's Nazim, who's done nothing but own a farm, and the Jarl frequently allows him into the Cloud District. Just listen to the way he talks to people. Then there are the Grey Manes and the Battleborns, who are under the assumption that they're so important that the rest of the city cares about their little feud. Now there's you. The people I just listed, some of them are decent, but none of them are heroic. You'll have to forgive my suspicions. Is this going to be a problem? Only if you make it one. You're still a Thane, and I'm still a Housecarl. I just figured it would be best to be honest with you from the get-go. Or maybe I'm just relieved to not be working with children that I have to lie to anymore. Who knows? Either way, I intend to do my job and keep you breathing. So, are we off to High Hrothgar now then? We could either go through the pass near Falkreath, or travel around the throat of the world. Yeah, I'd like to see what the Greybeards have to say. Me too. And going with you is my job, so... What does a house Carl do? Follow me, I need your help. I'm right behind you. <laughs> 